Shalom all. Praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, El Shai Bashem, And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the hopeful elect brothers that's, that's preaching and prophesying the word of the Lord. And that's uplifting the name of Yahweh Bashem, El Shai. Now, this is great news. It says that Iran launches barrage of missiles at Israel. Israel military signals it will retaliate. And if you know Israel is going to do something, then the U.S., Babylon the Great, is going to do something. Because, um, because, because Israel is backed by the U.S. Things are getting heated and they're getting... They're getting, you know, juicy, so to speak. You know, it it's a uh, it's about to be it's about to be, you know, some some uh, some good things taking place. Good things for us, you know, Lord will men of the Lord according to prophecy, because this is prophecy come to pass. And this just happened today at uh, it says the last updated uh, October 1st, 2024. This happened literally today. Because right before this happened, um, there was news prior to what happened, like a, like an hour or a few hours that said uh that said uh that said Iran was about to Iran was about to attack Israel. And then um I think like an hour or a few hours later it happened and the news came out right away with it because the news was uh was uh keeping uh keeping view of it the the news was uh was uh keeping uh how you say record of it you know while it was going on the news was reporting on it right and as soon as it happened it came out Iran launches barrage of missiles at Israel. This is prophecy. Let me let me go to it. Shall not tarry. Lord will it's a brief but edifying video. It says oh, this is Habakkuk chapter two verse three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. The vision, the vision, is talking about the prophecies. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And when you go into that word tarry, go into the blue letter. And I'm going to the blue blue letter and the regular dictionary. I'm going to the blue letter and the regular dictionary. It says uh to linger, tarry, wait, delay. Yeah, um, when we were going to school, uh, if you were late, you know, they would say you're tardy, right? And that word, you know, goes back to tire, which meaning wait or linger. It means something has a delay. And for another example, uh, you know, like when you're taking a train, or when you're about to take a train and e either before you go on the train or when you go on the train and the train takes off, you know, when you're going to your stop your destination and, you know, something comes up and there's a delay. Well, the, the train is lingering. You know, the train is not moving or the train is moving slow. There's a delay. There's a linger. Right now down here, it says to question or hesitate by implication you know so though it tarry though it seem like it's lingering though it seems like there's a delay wait for it 
it shall not tarry. You know, it, it will surely come. Because the prophecies have, have always been coming to pass, but now even more. Because we are at the end of the last days. The last days have been since when our Lord Yahweh Shai came on the scene um, of um, around 2,000 years ago. But the, we're at the end of the last days. So, so all the rest of the prophecies are coming to pass right now. The major prophecies being uh, uh, the MOTB, that's coming to pass. And WW3. Right, it's gonna be marked by nuclear war between the suit the, between the, the the two superpowers of the earth, We're being uh being uh, America, which is Babylon the Great in the scriptures, and and Russia, right? Which are uh, Russia? Russia is the bear, right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And not lie and right now the prophecies are speaking right because the Iran attacking attacking Israel is gonna lead into that uh, that uh that uh, that a uh, war of Armageddon right and Armageddon means mountain of troops in Hebrew because because all the uh, all the all the all the nations are gonna uh, fight, you know, in that in that in that war, you know, in World War Three, and it's and it's gonna happen in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat is Hebrew for Yahweh's judgment or Yahweh's decision, Je, you know, Yahweh's Shapat, which is gonna be, you know, in the Middle East. So this is what it's leading to. WW three. Um. The Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the which is the location, which is the Middle East, and and uh and uh, and and, uh, and uh, the battle, the Battle of Armageddon, right? The Mountain of Troops, and all the all the nations are gonna come together, and they're gonna have that great battle, which is which is a war, WW three, and it's gonna lead into uh it's gonna lead into a nuclear war right which is when you know the countries firstly Russia is gonna shoot uh, thermonuclear missiles on America it's gonna completely destroy it and 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 another thing Israel the land of Israel is gonna be completely destroyed by nuclear missiles as well but the only thing is that uh, the the other countries that are hit by missiles we will be built up but but America is, is just gonna be left a desert It's gonna be left uh, a memorial you know you, you know as an example like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah you know Sodom 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 and Gomorrah you know it's 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 a uh, it's a uh, it's completely destroyed you know that that's how that's how America is gonna be left as a memorial you know of of wickedness you know of one not to be you know this place was wicked that's why the most high judged it and destroyed off the face of the earth right so we got that it's, this is prophecy coming to pass let me get back to it iran launches barrage of missiles at israel iran fired roughly 200 ballistic missiles at israel and escalation that risks a wider war which is world war three in the middle east that's the that's the valley of jehoshaphat and that that's in that's in uh joel the book of joel days after israel killed the leader of killed the leader of iran back hezbollah and sent troops into lebanon because the small of the heathen, right? Uh, those those Amalekites, you know, the uh, the people in the land of Israel, right? That's actually ruling in the land of Israel. Um, they're Amalekites, you know. They're they're uh, they're Edomites from the tribe of Amalek, and the tribe of Amalek is a top 
tribe of the nation of Edom. And the nation of Edom are you so-called white people. You know, you know, you Caucasian people. Right? And they're the one that's going to draw out, you know, Babylon, the great America, to have uh, that war. You know? The small of the heathen. The small among the heathen and the least of the flock. Let me get, uh, let me get, the third woe cometh quickly. It's Revelation chapter 11 verse 14. It says, the second woe is past. Woe meaning destruction. And that woe is talking about a world war. Because whenever a uh, a world war happens is mass destruction all around the world in the different countries that it's set at the second woe is past and behold the third woe cometh quickly and the one that's coming quickly is uh the third world's war which is all right let me tell you who's the key players you have uh you have israel that's gonna draw out the rest of the nations you know to lead into that war and you have America, which is Babylon the Great. And then Russia, right? You have Turkey, right? So all these are like major p p players that are p p prophesied in the, in the scriptures, you know, to be a part of that war. You, you, know, you know, according, according, to, according to Ezekiel uh, 38, you know, Russia is going to be a, a god unto uh, t t Russia is going to be a garden to Turkey. So the third world's war is coming quickly. The third world cometh quickly. Right? Smith. This is Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. And the smiths uh, back then, you know, was the ones that uh, 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 made weapons, you know, like the blacksmiths. They made uh, uh, swords and stuff like that, weapons for the uh, for the for the soldiers going to war. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And ha I have created the waster to destroy, and that in today's time is talking about. The scientists, you know, the 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 uh, the scientists that the Most High gave the knowledge to to come up, you know, with the technology to make you know the atom bomb, and then you know after that a more advanced version, you know, is a nuclear bomb, you know, nuclear technology, which then you have uh, thermonuclear technology, which is which is advanced. Uh, which is advanced war technology. You know, one missile, one thermonuclear missile can can destroy like an entire city or something like that. And these these nations, you know, like Russia, they have they have missiles to where that can be shot off from the other side of the world and reach Babylon in a matter of like thirty minutes or less, because the Most High just put in the spirit. On these uh, on the on these scientists, right, right, and then on these on these people that are that are uh, 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 plan out and design and uh, make the missiles for it to get better and better over time, and it's just getting better. More destruction in 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 less time, you know, in uh in uh in less less distance, you know, it's gonna take uh uh less less time for those missiles to be shut off from the other side of the world to hit this place behold i have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire it's talking about the modern day uh modern day nuclear scientists you know that came up with that technology uh of the nuclear technology that's in those nuclear missiles and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work i have created the waster to destroy Right, and those are those are uh, uh, Q 
key key top nuclear scientists back then that that came up you know with the nuclear te technology one of them is uh i think his name is uh abraham esau and there, there was a movie that came out about the scientists too that made it abraham esau german physicist right and he was known for the German nuclear program. Oppenheimer. Yes, he was the one. Robert Oppenheimer. Robert Oppenheimer or Oppenheimer. This, this was the movie that they recently made. During World War II, Lieutenant, all right, but let's see, Phys physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer to work on a top secret Manhattan project, right? And that Manhattan project, you know, led into the uh, the, the the technology and the making of those missiles back then. And let me see. This is. One last scripture. Damn, this. Let's see, small among the heathen. Let me get that one. No, not that one. Let me. Least of the flock. And this is the last scripture. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 20. And I'm going to close here. Jeremiah chapter 20, 49, and verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom. Edom, or you so called white people. You Edomites, start, starting with the elite Edomite banking families, and his purposes with that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Teman are you Germans? You know you're the you're the you're the brain of the Edomites, right? German scientists came up with, uh, came up with the came up with the, you know the atomic, uh, missiles and then the nuclear missiles. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, and the least is going into insignificant. And that's going into the Ish people, the Amalekites, small hats. That's in the land of Israel right now, calling themselves, you know, Jews, which are not. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. So the least of the flock, which is those Amalekites, the Ish people, the small hats, you know that are calling themselves uh uh calling themselves you know israelis they're gonna draw out you know america to war to the to world war three you know they're gonna uh they're gonna draw out the nations you know to get this war war started and then it's gonna be it's gonna be against against iran which is gonna get you know all the nations to all the nations to get into it and this is beautiful. This is prophecy, but that's the end of the lesson. Lord will it was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom.